Hey YouTube! So, I am making this video because we moved to Bowling Green, Virginia. Me and my family. My little one's going to come over and say hi. Can you say hi? Oh yeah, she's going to come over and say hi. Anyway, so my hey. husband got a DOD job in Bowling Green, Virginia at 40 P. Hill. And when I looked online to find out what the area was like or what the base was like, what was around, you couldn't find really anything. So other than government sites that just told you what the base was, <laughs> yep. <laughs> other than sites that just told you what it was and the facts, you know, it's the largest base, I think, just mileage wise on the East Coast. Um, it's used for training, a lot of sniper stuff and shooting ranges I know they have. Um, and I know there's a lot of reserve. Daddy. Daddy. Yes, daddy works there. Um, there's a lot of reservists that go there and I just know it's basically a training, training facility. So anyway, my husband got a job on 40 P Hill as a DOD fire fighter and I just wanted to do a quick review on the area and what we thought of it. So, um, it's called Bowling Green and it is, it is a very, very small, so we, it is a very small town. Very, very small town. It's kind of like the Mayberry, you know, home, small town kind of thing. Everybody knows you. Um, our neighbors actually knew about us probably day two, and then everybody else down the street did as well. So, everyone's pretty nice. Um, there's a mix. I've seen a lot of um, older people. I've seen kids. I've seen mid-aged people. Um, and if you ask me, I think a lot of them probably work in either Richmond or D.C. because it's only an hour from the two. Um, so I believe that's kind of what the mix is and there might be a couple people that are local just for town jobs um, So but as far as AP Hill goes there is not a big PX. There's not a commissary There's really it's not it's not a big base I think for you to get to a commissary PX you have to go 45 minutes I know there's like three or four bases within like a couple hours from here, but I know 45 minutes is the closest one um, so it, there, are, there is on-base housing. Um, we looked at them. They're kind of like little townhouses, and it's in like this little circle kind of residential area. Um, we did see playground. We saw a lot of kids, but we ended up not doing it because it was like $800 or $900 or something, or maybe a little bit more, and it didn't include utilities. So we ended up actually finding a place, um, luckily enough, that's only five minutes away from his work um, and only about 10 minutes away from mine. I work at an um, animal hospital. So, um, very close to where he is. Um, we could have lived anywhere. We looked in Fredericksburg. We looked in um, King George, Port Royal. We kind of looked at the surrounding. Hey, no, no. You don't come over being snappy. Anyway, we looked all over the place. Um, and we, we figured out housing was between, I think the cheapest we saw it for like an apartment was like $500 for a two bedroom. Um, and then we saw it all the way up to almost $2,000. Almost two thousand. You're gonna make it impossible for me to get this done in less than five minutes. Yeah, Daddy. Anyway, so we looked all over the place, and some places are really expensive. Some places are pretty inexpensive. It just depends how cityish you want to go. And that's the other thing too. If you're gonna live in Bowling Green, you really shouldn't like noise. You shouldn't like cities. You should just want peace and quiet and country because it's very like farmland around here. So we like that because we came from a very busy area. So we like the quietness of being able to go out and walk around and just kind of get to know everybody. Um, so it's definitely a small town. If you like clubs and, you know, a lot of action movies, that kind of stuff, you probably are better off if you get stationed here to live in like Fredericksburg um, or even maybe Richmond. But Richmond's kind of a drive. It's like 45 an hour away. So don't necessarily think I would recommend that. But in Bowling Green, it's not like you're out in the middle of nowhere. They do have like a right aid. They have a food line. They have um, Chinese food, Italian food. They have a McDonald's. They have a Pizza Hut. So that I am happy about. Gotta love Pizza Hut. Um, so that is just my quick two cents on what 40 P Hill is kind of like. There's a lot of deer around here. Hunting's really big. Um, farming's really big. It is. It could be considered boring to most people, um, unless you're looking for a small town kind of thing. Yeah. If you have kids, it's wonderful. Um, anyway, so that is my take on it. So if you get stationed, 
if you get stationed down here, um, just check out the surrounding areas. And that is my take on Fort AP Hill and Bowling Green. <laughs>